Oh, that must, that must really be wedged in there. Uh oh. All right, guys. So it's the last day of January, and I'm in a last-ditch effort to get as much money invested in January as possible. We've counted up our change from our once in a blue moon um, change jar and we came up with twenty twenty five $25.50. So I'm gonna go deposit this in the bank and then we'll transfer the funds to the uh, Weeble account. And um, our grand total for um, January, our total amount that will be in there will be $828. So. We did pretty good. That's mostly just change laying around or money that was in our savings account not making any money. So it'll be neat to see at the end of the month um, in the next video um, what the total was for um, the month of January. Oreo is an absolute cougar, man. She is an all-out hunter all the time. Always chasing them mice. All right, guys, welcome to the video today. Today, I want to start the video off by saying back pain is no joke, man. And you know what I'm talking about if you've ever hurt your back. I've spent the last, uh, I don't know, about a week or so not being able to stand up straight, but my back feels better now that I used that bed warmer a couple days in a row. And uh, so now we're gonna start knocking some stuff off our to-do list. This is stuff that I've never done before. But um, actually, I don't even know if I've posted the to-do list video yet. So if not, uh, it'll be up in a couple days. It's kind of long, but it kind of runs through everything we have to do this year. So we noticed this little situation when the, the spring on the other garage door broke. So this may be something you may want to look at. So the first problem we had is the ladder wasn't tall enough, so I had to get the rain jerk. But the issue we're having with the garage door is we noticed that this is hanging down from the ceiling. So what we're going to do is we're going to pound it back up with the hammer. As you can see, it was put up with nails. And then we're going to run some screws in it to hopefully prevent this from falling down when the garage door is up. But first, I have to put the garage door down. Perfect parking job. All right, so now that the garage door is down, there shouldn't be as much weight on this, so we can pound it back up. So you can see it was down quite a ways from the ceiling. Um, normally you would, um, from my understanding, normally you would hook these right to the rafters, like you would have cut a hole in here and screwed it to the ceiling that way. All right, so let's run a couple screws in it. Take our handy dandy drill here, run a couple screws through the wood into the ceiling. Still sore. So that should hold her. At least I'll know enough to keep an eye on it to see if it's gonna fall down or not. So now that we got that done, let's go cut down a tree. Before we cut down a real big tree back there, we're gonna cut down that real tall one over there. I'm gonna practice cutting down another partially cut down one because I haven't really cut down a real tall tree yet. But we're gonna take our Husqvarna 120i and we're gonna cut down this tree that's kind of partially already fell down. I don't know if you've seen the video um, from the other day where I was trying to there was a tree leaning right here and I was trying to pull it out with the ranger but I ended up cutting it down today. So now it's kind of just hanging there. Um, but 
the battery died this morning so I didn't catch any of that footage but I mean this little chainsaw cut through I mean this this is how big the tree is I mean it's it's just as long as the bar is so I mean if anybody says these battery powered chainsaws can't do what they want them to do um, they probably need to sharpen their chain but um but I was able to cut that down and as you can see the tree is just kind of hanging there so maybe this afternoon we'll come hook the ranger to it and see if we can pull it out but we are going to cut down this big uh, partially cut down tree right here my goal this year is to get all the dead trees down in this tree line and all the way over there and through the back but it is cold and it is snowing and i'm going to try to go as fast as i can to get this cut down before the battery dies in the camera Thing to remember too it's probably a fairly dead tree or rotted tree tree to cut down with a power chainsaw. So we got two blocks left of battery so let's go cut down the other tree real quick. All right so to continue um, learning how to cut down trees we're gonna move on to this really tall tree right here that is leaning a little bit so basically i'm going to try to cut the notch on this side cut it from the back and hopefully it'll fall right down okay, we've got a lot of trees to cut down like i've been saying for a while now but they most of these trees are dead and then in this row there's also a whole bunch of dead trees so um i gotta get moving before summer so hopefully the battery won't die before i get it cut down i'll try to hurry
Well, another proven fact, nothing can be easy. So we'll hook it up to the ranger and pull it out of the other tree. All right guys, well the battery lasted a little longer than I thought it was going to. We were able to cut the tree down. And then I also made one, two, three more cuts. So I've got that and then we're gonna try to tear it down with the ranger. All before the camera battery dies. All right. And all right guys, so I figured why we have the ranger out and we're pulling trees down, we might as well try to pull the big tree down that's stuck in the other tree that we cut up this morning. So hopefully this goes well. Or put it in four wheel drive, I guess. Oh, that must that must really be wedged in there. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. That's just like on one of those TV shows. Holy smokers. Well, hopefully, well, hopefully, guys, hopefully we didn't break anything, but at least the trees are down. We actually pulled three trees down, trying to pull one tree down. Hope you had a good day today. Thanks for watching.